This is Algebra 2, question number 1-36 in Chapter 1. And the question, um, the, the, the problem with this is, what is the question? What are they asking for in this big, long problem? And if we look at right here in the bottom part of it, it says, what is Chalita's error? So all of this is setting up some situation. Remember? And the main thing is, there's some error in this problem. So you need to look at this step by step by step to see... Where is there an error? And I'm going to draw your attention that up here, look at this very first line. Look at this and this. And you're going to find out that there happens to be a factoring error. And that's where the mistake was. So let's just look at what she said, what Chalita had said. She said that this was the factorization, that x plus 7 times x plus 3 is the factorization of this quadratic. And if we multiply that out, so we're going to do the distribution, some of you will call it the FOIL, but the distribution, and we've got x times x is x squared. Then we're going to have x times 3, which is going to give us 3x. Then we're going to have 7 times x, which is going to give us 7x, and so I just line those together. And lastly, we're going to have 7 times 3, which is 21. When you combine that all together, you get x squared plus 10x plus 21. And that's not what it says here. This problem up here, right here, is x squared minus 10x. So I need both 3x and 7x to be negatives. And for that to happen, this can't be x plus 7 and x plus 3. It's got to be x minus 7 times x minus 3. So this is where her error was, right up the very beginning. And so now, if we notice this with those negatives, and we're setting it equal to zero, like it was in the original problem here, was equal to zero. Well, the zero product rule says, therefore, each of these factors, x minus 7 must equal zero, or x minus 3 must equal zero. Solving, we get x equals 7 or x equals 3.